Hello everyone, I'm so glad to be here with you.、Uh, this is my YouTube channel. So, learning English with Mr. Nascimento is now a new opportunity for you to get tuned with English learning. So, stay tuned.、Uh, we are on page 14, okay? So, if you remember last class, we were talking about some obligations at school.、Uh, right now, Uh, if you remember, Lucy and Dan, they are searching for adventures. So they're searching for treasures, precious things, gold,、uh, silver, diamonds. Okay? So they're all searching for things. And right now we have a story. That story time getting help. You remember last class, our very last class at school, we heard that. They were going to search for help, not with the teacher, but with the librarian. Do you remember that? So let's start listening, okay? To the track. But right now, I have a surprise for you. I want to show you the video. I know you really love when、okay. I show you the video.、So. Yay, we're done with that. Okay, so right now we just finished the story.、Um, I just wanted to look at number two, okay? In number two, we have a code. So you remember that Lucy、uh, lost a little piece of paper, a little sheet of paper, fell from the book. So there was written、uh, a thing, a message. To the code. You're gonna use the code to write the message from Lucy and Dan. And I remember we have done this activity, but I just wanted to take a photograph and send me the message, okay? You decode it. So take a photograph and go to Google Classroom and you just post your photograph right there and I'll correct, okay? So can you do that? I bet you can. And just for playing, okay,、uh, in number four, I remember we have played that. DJ Cool K plays CDs for ETs from planet QB3. You remember that? So I just wanted to pause the video and repeat after me, okay? Can you do that? 
you're perfect. You can do that. Now let's go to the next page, okay, after practicing. Okay, what about story time? I just want you to take some time and pay attention to some information. Number one, read the story quickly and try to find the answers in the text, okay? Let's do that. First of all, first question, what is the boy's name? Two. What's his teacher's name? Number three. What classes does the boy have? IT, history, geography? I don't know. Can you check? What is he doing in the classes? Is he really studying? Is he dreaming? Daydreaming? I think so. So, Listen to the story, okay? Two, read and listen. Check your answers. Story time. Johnny's story. At Oak Tree School, there is a geography. Showing a movie about China. But one of the children, Johnny, is dreaming. In his dream, he is sitting on a dragon, flying along the Great Wall of China. Children have 
have to write a story for a competition. Who can write the best story? Miss Burton said. Johnny writes a fantastic story. It's about dragons and butterflies, a guitar concert, puzzles, and other wonderful things. Johnny wins first prize. The children don't laugh. They clap and shout, Hooray, Johnny! Miss Burton smiles. It's a beautiful story. Read it to us. Okay, so that's the end of the Johnny story. Um, so I just want you to answer me, what's the boy's name? If you said Johnny, that's right. What's his teacher's name? All right. If you said Miss Burton, okay. So you remember that Mr. Nascimento, Mr. It's for a man. And for a woman, you say Miss, okay? Miss Burton, Miss Burton. You can say Burton or Burton, okay? Miss Burton. All right, so I immediately want to go to the next page. Number three and number four, you can write on your notebooks, okay, or on your books. So in number three, I just want you to make that exercise on your books, better saying. You just take a photograph and you send me, okay, on Google Classroom. So all you got to do is make number three okay this is about the text okay that's about the text so you just put in order you put numbers one two three four okay what is the order of the story okay now that's my favorite topic let's talk about musical instruments I have heard that you really like music. Oh yeah. So let's talk a little bit about music. Listen and number, okay? According to the order you hear. Oh. So right there, uh, we have the recorder, number one. Number two, is it the triangle? I think so. Number three, the flute, all right? Is it correct? I think so. Number four, the piano. Number five, 
the drum. One is drum. Two or three or four drums. Okay, plural. And the last one, number six, the guitar. Okay, is that correct? I think so. Okay, so right now, I just wanted to pause the video and read the text in number two. Read about different families of musical instruments. So the, the, the musical instruments are divided into different families, groups, okay? For example, uh, the wind instruments, the wind instruments, you see, uh, you use your mouth, okay? to play these instruments. You blow through the instruments to make the sound like a flute, like a recorder, like fan pipes, okay? The second family or a second group, these are the stringed instruments stringed instruments, okay? Like a violin, a violin. So, instruments like a violin are instruments with strings. They're called string, uh, stringed instruments, easy. Well, what about the piano? It's a stringed instrument also, okay? But you can't see the strings. You can't see the strings. They are inside the piano. Okay. What about the percussion instruments? You have the tambourine. The tambourine is a percussion instrument, like a drum or the drums. Okay. They are all percussion instruments. We use the percussion instruments to play the rhythm of the music. When you listen to drum, you hear a rhythm. Rhythm, okay? So right here we have some scores, some music symbols, and you have rhythm, okay? All right? So I just wanted to write the names of the instruments according to the families in number three. So we're going to get the, the instruments number one and write down here in number three, okay? According to each family. Example, wind instruments, one wind instrument is the recorder, okay, we instrument. And what about flute, triangle, piano, guitar, and drum? Can you do that? All right. Number one, look at the instrument right here and which family are they from? Which group are they from? For example, the trombones are instruments in which family? The trombones are wind instruments, okay? So you, you blow to make a sound, okay? So pause the video and say, trombones are wind instruments, okay? wind instruments. What about art, symbols, cello, it's like a violin but it's bigger. Uh, what about the castanets? Okay, and what about the saxophone? 
What about the Sabbath? Okay. All right. Number two. What other musical instruments do you know by name? What family are they in? Do you remember them? Two. Do you play an instrument? Do you play an instrument? The keyboard or the piano? The guitar? The drums? Do you play the recorder? Do you play it? I just want you to think about uh, number one, number two, and number three, and write the answers on your notebooks, okay? All right, can you do that? And you make photographs and you post right there in Google Classroom, okay? You post on Google Classroom. Can you do that? Okay, so one, two, and three. This is our first project. I just wanted to look at, that's right on page 21, okay? And you're gonna pick up your English notebooks and turn them into scrap books, okay? So, uh, make a scrapbook. First of all, number one, you're gonna decorate your English notebooks, your scrapbooks, okay? And number two, you gotta write your name. You're gonna write your class, your teacher's name, which is Mr. Nascimento, okay? Don't forget. Your favorite color, your favorite song, okay? Your favorite book. Say what you like. For example, I like eating pasta. I like eating sausage, okay? And people in your family, who are the people in your family? Your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your grandma, your grandpa, your dog, okay? Whatever. And in number three, write the rules. Rule one, two, three, and four. We have to speak English in class. So write the rules on your scrapbooks, okay? So you photograph everything and you post there on Google Classroom, okay? And I'll correct and give you some points for that, okay? And a class. See you then. So our class is over, okay? Thank you for watching. And if you really like this class, I just wanted to press the like button below and subscribe to my channel. So you can activate the bell and you're gonna be informed every time I launch a new video. So it was a great time together. See you next time. Bye-bye. God bless you.